What's up guys, welcome back OCG Meta Game Breakdown again for September 2017 and um, again to refresh our memories and um, the results from past week so these on the left side here on your screen were my results from you know all the get the deck lists gathered on the Yu-Gi-Oh organization website again all the links will be in the video description uh, shout out to World of the Game uh, Yu-Gi-Oh organization website ready for duel as well for all the pictures and deck lists so again if you want more information feel free to check out the links down below again on the left side here all these uh, deck lists gathered on the Yu-Gi-Oh organization website last week by the way um, rarely any changes right we had true Draco sitting at somewhat most popular past a couple of weeks quickly followed by dinosaurs yeah pretty much the two biggest decks up until now um, followed by ABC's pendulums and heroes and then if you look at the analysis of Road of the King from last week very very similar again although probably yeah, probably different locals different tournaments where he got his deck lists from but again dinosaurs for him for his uh, statistics dinosaurs was a little more popular was a little more represented in the top cuts compared to true draco sitting at about yeah 30 percent and tricksters that's also something that i really didn't mention past week is the popularity of tricksters tricksters are becoming more and more popular I also saw it on the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization website, more deck lists were posted, but it slipped my mind last week. And then, yeah, about 20% others. So yeah, ABC, Heroes, Magicians, etc, etc. But now, this week, and here is where, you know, hits the fan. Uh, the new statistic, again, posted on the Road of the King. I believe his analysis was from um, 45 uh, deck lists. So again, 45 deck lists were able, uh, or at least he was able to get 45 deck lists from, I believe, eight tournaments. So let's call it eight localish uh, tournaments. And the results are, um, first of all, astonishing. You know, Spirals got released. It was their first release past weekend. And immediately, of course, people tried them out. But, you know, they already knew about the cards months in before. So they already got uh, some playtesting before that. But these statistics, again, um, astonishing. Spirals taking up 35% as, you know, dethroning uh, Dinosaur Yang Zing and yeah, True Draco can now be considered being uh, between the others. But Spirals currently, at least from last weekend, sitting at about 35%. That's actually very, very huge. Um, two explanations maybe for this is that first of all, of course, the hype. Deck is of course very hyped. As we saw a couple of months ago with the reveal of their new Link monster. Which is by the way super easy to get on the field as we all know. So again, first possible uh, explanation for this is of course hype. New weekend and people want to try out these new decks. And mainly of course Spirals with this new Link monster. Again, a uh, side note here is that even though this is the first weekend, Spirals are getting, or at least got, this high amount of uh, representation in the top cuts. And if I'm not mistaken, if you take a look at a deck like Zodiac or True Dracos, maybe back in the, like, the first few weekends, maybe uh, when they were released, they, at least from what I can remember, they definitely didn't get these statistics, right? Immediately taking the top spot here in the list um, of being yeah, the most represented deck in the current OCG format. So again, first uh, first explanation, the first reason is probably hype. New weekend and people want to try out these new cards. And second reason again is just, yeah, people are pretty much fed up. And that's probably one of the explanations that uh, we can give here is that True Draco is not within the top four or five-ish decks here probably considered here being the others um again it's it's like a quote-unquote old deck and people want to try out the new stuff like maybe tricksters get back to panel magicians and you know spirals spirals definitely so the players preferred or at least who preferred true dracos before are probably more leaning to spirals now so give it time still the first weekend but still i have in the back of my mind it's the first weekend and yet spirals getting these uh, amount of um, yeah players in the top cuts that's that's astonishing definitely uh, another thing here is uh, the ban list you know the ocg has like uh, the, the set uh, three months rotation you know um 
So if I'm not mistaken, the OCG should get their new list in October. There is like a, a quote-unquote leaked list going around, but that's all pure speculation, so I'm not going to give uh, too much attention uh, on that one. But you know how it goes, right? With Konami creating most of the time these ban lists, some not hitting decks that were super relevant, or you know, tier 1 and a half, or yeah, uh, tier 1, tier 0 0.5, etc. So Zeus through Dracos might get hit soon, at least for the OCG. Yeah, dinosaurs definitely, but you know, Spirals is a new deck in the OCG, they won't hit it, right? Or at least they may preemptively hit Spirals as we saw, yeah, as we saw on the, the speculation uh, list from, I believe, last week where Asian Fairy Dragon also got banned, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely, I can definitely see that happen, but still, uh, seeing that Spiral is a new deck, Konami... Mm, Rarely, rare, it has happened, but rarely hitting the new deck. Um, and still, yeah, in the quote unquote old format spirals, getting these results, and probably decks like uh, Dinosaur Yang Zings, uh, True Dracos, uh, the Diagram getting hit, all the quote unquote older decks getting hit by the banalist and spirals coming out of it uh, without any harm, right? So. Again, it's something that we have to keep in the back of our mind. As, as pointed out on the Road of the King website, a lot of uh, variations, a lot of um, possibilities for spirals have been popping up. Uh, I think the most popular one was the Destrudo version. You knew, yeah, you know, with Dragon's Ravine, Destrudo. And there you have it, Asian Fairy Dragon, to, you know, tutor your field spells, getting that spiral resort. And, you know, spiral resort is a super strong field spell card. Uh, yeah, for spirals, of course, but still, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Destrudo, uh, oh, t -t the place, right? Dragon's Ravine, discarding a card, setting it up in your graveyard. Yeah, things go together. Uh, we saw a couple of Asian gear lists with, you know, set rotation, giving your opponent uh, the, the Asian gear field spell, pop it, special summoning something. You know how it goes with Asian gears. We also saw, I believe, I should have one here in the video as well, like a grass build. You know that uh, grass looks greener, is still at 3 in the OCG, maybe 60 cards as well if you're playing grass looks greener. But, you know, getting the most advantage out of those uh, grave effects of, you know, your spiral spells and trap so very very intriguing still the first weekend and you know a few remarks that we can make here is that is that f from the point that spiral or at least that, that yeah spiral double helix the link monster was revealed a lot of us thought yeah it's it's probably going to be good but I think we never expected to be, at, at least in the first weekend, getting these results. So I believe the deck has evolved beyond being just uh, uh, opening dupli, you know, machine duplication or scoop. Uh, definitely not. It, it definitely has evolved beyond that. Like Ravine, Destrudo, the super field spell engine with set rotation as well. The deck is consistent, guys. Foolish burial of goods. Do you know? You get your uh, special summons, and all you need is only two spiral monsters to go for that double helix, and then you get your engine going with master plan. And yeah, you rank up the pluses, and you know, use your extra link to block your opponent out of the extra deck. Uh, cherries, as we see here, is also becoming very, very uh, popular for obvious reasons. Ancient Fairy Dragon, Spiral Double Helix, di against Dinosaur Yangzings, Danglong, of course. So, yeah, get your Winter Cherries ready. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, the Not Once Per Turn class um, definitely helps Spirals getting up there, especially with these results. Um, dinosaurs here, sitting at about, yeah, one-fourth of representation. 24, 25%, still one of the better decks. But you know the balance is coming for the OCG. So it should be revealed soon. Magicians and tricksters still hold, yeah, still holding up about 10%, and then 70% as uh, classified to being others. Yeah, in this case, true Draco, ABC. Uh, we also saw Dark Lords uh, topping or, or winning a locals, I believe. The list should be here in as well. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Again, I'll leave the links uh, in the video description, so feel free to check those out if you want to have like more information about the deck lists. Um, I highly recommend uh, checking out these lists. So, um, yeah, Spirals, guys. Spiral double, he double Helix is definitely going to be a very expensive card. If I'm not mistaken, it's already a secret in the OCG. 
Uh, so it's it's 100% it should be also a secret here in the TCG as well. So it's definitely going to be a very, very expensive card by the time we get it here in the TCG. So if you want to run the spirals, and I believe it's spir yeah, spirals are legal at YCS uh, London and in a couple of weeks, like one month. Yeah, it's 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 going to be expensive. Um, anyway, okay, I think I've covered pretty much everything. And uh, okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. And feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me sunny out. Peace.